In hot summer months, up to 70% of water supplied to homes is used in gardens. Hose pipes use around 1,000 litres of water an hour, which is the same amount an average person uses in a week. Installing a trigger on your hose pipe can cut water usage by half. But if you really want to keep your bills low and your garden happy, install a water butt. Your local DIY shop will have a selection of water butts. They come in all shapes and sizes, so you should be able to find one that suits your garden. And they're really easy to install. You might already have some of these items at home. A drill bit, a tape measure, a marker pen, a small spirit level, an adjustable spanner, cordless drill and a large screwdriver. And a few pounds spent here could save you thousands of litres of water every year, which will save you money down the line. Installing your water butt is fairly straightforward. First, make sure you have a good base for the water butt to stand on. If you have a solid area like concrete, make sure it's swept clean and check it with the spirit level. You will need to mark where to put the connector pipe before you drill a hole for it. You only get one chance at this, so make sure you have it in the right place before you drill the hole. Insert the connector into the hole. Check it's tight enough with an adjustable spanner. You now need to fit the diverter onto the downpipe. Using the spirit level, check that the connector and the downpipe are level and mark the pipe here. Using the tape measure, make a second mark 35mm up the pipe. You now need to cut the pipe on the first mark. Remove your pipe and cut off at the second mark. You're essentially cutting off enough pipe to fit in the diverter. Return to the downpipe and fit your diverter into the pipe before connecting up your loose bit into the bottom of the diverter. Place your water butt onto the base. Connect up the diverter with the connector pipe and put the lid on. Use a screwdriver to fix the clips into place and secure the top. Your water butt is now ready to start collecting. How much water you can collect depends on the size of your roof and the amount of rain you receive. The average rainfall in the southeast of England is nearly 800 millimetres, which is just over 30 inches. Even a small roof can help collect nearly 4,000 litres of water in a year. That's enough to fill a large water butt 20 times. Plants love rainwater and the best way to give it to them is using a good old fashioned watering can. Always deliver water to the roots of your plant and never water in the heat of the day as water is lost through evaporation. Water butts are a great free source of water, so why not use it? If you're really keen, you could think about rainwater harvesting, using bigger tanks and larger roofs to collect. You could even think about using rainwater for toilet flushing and really save. Our website has information on all of this, as well as a comprehensive guide to water efficient plants. Why not have a look at how you could save at www.southernwater.co.uk forward slash metering.